Before you start cutting though, what I would suggest is, is in the corners, drill a hole so that you have a fairly secure stopping point when you're cutting. down to here. Then you can carefully begin cutting. This can be a straight line. And with this one, I'm going to curve it a little bit. And you'll need to cut through this leather several times since it's so thick. So thick. So go ahead and cut through there, and then we'll finish the inside of it a little bit. Alright, you can see that we have our shoulder strap holes cut out. You may want to take your razor and a detail file and trim a little bit about around the inside just to make sure that it's all even. And with a little detail file you can get up in some of these corners and file off any kind of rough edges that might be in there. Time-wise, we're now about halfway through the process of making this canteen. The point that we're at now, though, since we have the leather body of it finished, is we have to start stretching it out so that it'll hold water. In order to do this, we're going to pack it with sand, but we have to soak it with water to loosen, to loosen it up first. When I initially read about this process, it may have to do with the weight of the leather, but the people who had written about it basically made it sound like you pounded sand into it once, let it dry, and it was finished. But the first one that I made, I had to do it about eight times. So we're going to go ahead and start with this, start stretching it out, and we'll soak it in this bucket for about an hour and then, and I'll probably come out here and turn it since the entire thing won't fit down in there yet, we'll uh, let it soak for about an hour then ram a dowel rod down in through there to start to open it up and start pounding sand into it. This should probably take about eight nights if we let it dry out totally every day. So let's go ahead and wait for it to soak and then put our sand into it. Here's our soaked canteen. What we're going to do now is start packing this with as much sand as we can get into it so that it'll wind up stretching out this way so that it'll hold more water. Depending on what weight of leather you use, it may take more or less time. The instructions that I read said that you could do it basically in your first time doing it with the weight of leather that I used, the last one that I worked on, I had to, use it to do it eight different times. Also, they'll stretch differently. They won't always be even. With this one, I have one side of this leather that's a little bit heavier than the other, so one side is probably going to stretch more than the other. In order to do this, you're going to need a funnel. If you're doing it indoors, make sure you have some kind of towels or tarps down because the more that you do this, the more water they're going to retain and could drip out on your carpet or your floor. You'll need some kind of a heavy dowel and you'll also need some kind of clean sand. Around here we could go outside and collect sand but it's not necessarily clean and since this is going to be a drinking vessel you're going to want it as clean as you can get it. 
This I bought from a hardware store and ultimately will wind up washing out most of this anyway. So, we're going to first pry this open. And I use a pair of pliers. Put it into a big enough opening that we can get our dowel down in it. And I don't know if you can see the dowel moving in there, but basically, even the first time that you do it, stretch out the bottom a little bit. Once you've done that, take your funnel and start pouring sand in into it. Once you have a little bit in, Pound that. And pour a little bit more. And pound it again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep pouring sand into there and pounding it down into this container. You can already see that it's starting to widen out a little bit in through there. And we're going to get in as much as we can. And then after that, I'll put it outside, let it dry a little bit overnight, and the sun tomorrow, let it dry out totally. And then we'll do the entire process again tomorrow night. This is still the first time that I've pounded sand into this. And it's working out, obviously, much more easily than the first one that I did. It's uneven, but part of that's the nature of the leather. It's all going to stretch differently. And as I said, with this one, on this side, my leather is a little bit wider than on this side. If you want it totally even, you're going to have to use the same weights of leather on both sides, even though this was cut out right from the same part of the same animal. However, as far as using it goes, it should still come out about the same. It will still work fine. But the sand is right up there at the top. And keep pounding it in until you can't get any more. And we're close to that stage now. Right now, I think that this may have about as much capacity as my first canteen had in total. And I haven't re tried to restretch it yet at all. So keep pouring that sand in. You may need something to get in those little clods out of it. that one. So keep pouring it in. And pound it down. This is about as much as this is going to be able to hold. So right from the first time that you fill it up with the sand though, put your plug in so that it starts taking the right shape for that plug. And it's nighttime, so I can't show you outside where I'm going to lay this, 
I put it 